Number 14, an electron moving along the x-axis has a position given by x equals to 16 times t times e to the power of minus t in meters, where t is in seconds. How far is the electron from the origin when it momentarily stops? So we want to find out where the electron stops, and we know that it happens when the velocity of the electrons equals to zero. So we have to find out the, the, the equation for the velocity of the electron. And how we do that? We just have to make the derivative of the position in respect to time. So we have to derive this equation over here. So let's just write it, uh, the derivative of 16 times t times e to the power of minus t in respect to t. So in order to make this derivative, we have to use the product rule. So we have, we can, we can say that we have two different functions here. This function over here and this function over here. So what the product rule tells us, we have the derivative of the first one. So the derivative of the first one would be 16 times the second equation, which would be e times uh, e to the power of minus t. And we have to sum it, so plus the first equation, 16t, times the derivative of the second one. So, but, but the derivative of e to the power of minus t is just minus, is just minus e to the power of minus t. So the derivative of the position, which is the velocity, would be 16 e to the power of minus t minus 16 times t times e to the power of minus t. And we can write it like 16 times e to the power of minus t uh, times 1, uh, 1 minus t. So we can, we can write the velocity like this. And we can realize by just looking at it that the, the, the velocity would be zero when this term over here is zero. And how it happens? It happens when the time t equals to one second. So we know that the electron will stop when the time is, uh, the time is one second. So we just have to replace t equals to one in this equation over here, x equals to 16 times t times e to the minus t. We just have to replace time uh, for, for, for one second, and, and that's it. So what we want to do is x in one, it's, which is equal to 16 times one times e to the power of minus one. And if you do the, the, this calculation over here, you will find roughly five, 0.9 meters and this is the answer of this exercise.